Alrighty, here's a quick video walkthrough of our 2018 to Keystone Hideout 24 LHSWE. Quite the model number on this guy. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough for you. This coach, it's about 27 feet overall with this hitch right here. You got two propane tanks, an electric hitch, and a couple batteries right there. Now it is one of those kind of corrugated metal ones, which I personally love. It's much easier to replace panels if you ever run into an issue. Now it's a single slide out. It's a pretty popular floor plan. We'll check it out here in a second. But here's the weight, gross vehicle weight rating 7620. And then just under 1900 less is your dry weight. It's got stab jacks on it, four of them, and it is enclosed down below. It does have the dump station right in the middle, not in the end, which I personally love, because if you do ever kind of hit a nice steep incline and you got your dump there, it could drag and just completely rip all your plumbing out. Never fun. But here's the back of her, comes with a spare. Nice big window, one of my favorites. And it does have an area to mount a backup camera if you want one shut this so you can see the side of it electric awning of course and it does have a nice LED strip under the awning now let me show you I forgot to show you that front compartment it's a nice big pass through right here it goes all the way through plenty of storage so there's sway bars for the coach now let's jump inside so it's a double entry first one is straight into the bedroom and here's the bed it looks like a short queen I could be wrong there's only a five inch difference your first wardrobe storage sorry about any glare shooting this pretty late you do have some under wow you got a lot of under bed storage actually nice and then on the left side you got another wardrobe you gotta see power outlet there and one on the other side with two wind or yeah two windows area to mount a tv right there and you do have heat and ac ducted in here it's a little not a pocket door but a slider shut off the uh bedroom from the main living area thermostat right here this door is your bathroom we'll go there in there in a second and then here is just a quick little peek without the glare my gosh of the floor plan. So you got the two chairs back there, a dinette, booth dinette, and then your fridge. But before we get there, let's jump in the bathroom. The bathroom is actually not bad size at all for an all-in-one. You do have a china toilet. And then your shower is actually, it's one of those one-piece fiberglass corner showers. And I love these. You have plenty of room in them. I'm 5'9". I'm not very tall. But you could be well into the six foot and still fit. You're gonna have to bend down to get wet a little bit, but you can still fit. And you got a little, little sink here, plastic sink with some storage right below. And then a medicine cabinet. It's really cool. Now I'm making our way back into the main living area. Like I said, this is a single slide RV. Your slide starts there, goes all the way down, right where that window is, right past that booth dinette. And that will turn into a sleeper, really mainly for kids, but you can't. They say two people can sleep there. You got a Dometic RV fridge, so propane, electric, or plugged in. And then above the dinette, a couple of drawers. Or <laughs> drawers, my gosh. A couple cabinets. Some nice light reading material in there for you. Now this is a 2018, but it is still used. Hardly, but still used. Now you got two recliners. They do actually recline. You just push back on them. And then in the middle of them, you got this like a little desk area with a central vac system in there. One of my favorites. And you can see the absolutely massive window in the back and then the couple on the side. And of course, additional storage. And that is one of those that kind of goes all the way through let's, let's open that up there you go now finally let's take a quick peek at the old kitchen by the way the second entry door is right there and your control panel is hidden behind this door which i love awning slide control water heater all right so entertainment center a couple drawers there your displayer tv 
And a little bit of drawers right above. Not bad. Not very deep, but you know, good for DVDs or CDs or something like that. Maybe not deep enough for a DVD, but. And there's your. So, let me, come here. And then in here is your main pantry. It's actually a pretty decent size, too. This is your all your stuff for the uh, vacuum. And then moving on to the right, you got an oven, surprisingly enough. Of course, not very big, but still better than nothing. Three burner, gas stove top with the hood. And you got your microwave above. A little bit smaller, but not a bad size. Two bay sink. And then a little like sponge. Oh, wow, you can't see that at all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Little sponge area. It's a little dark, but not as much storage under the sink as I would like, but still not bad. I mean, better than nothing, that's for sure. But you do have these extra two drawers right here. And then above the sink here, we got these two. And that's honestly about it. Nothing too crazy. I mean, a great floor plan. I personally love it. AC fully ducted, located in the main living area. And you do have those vents in the bathroom too. Just in case you do ever, uh, gotta take one of those business doers in the middle of the night and it's nice and chilly. But there you go. There's a quick walkthrough of our 2018 Keystone Hideout 24 LHSWE. Go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions. Hope you have a great day.